Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you guys are. My name is Lin Angie and for those of you who are new, welcome. For those of you who are coming back, thank you so much for sticking around and watching all of my videos. For today's look, I decided to do a proper red lip on my channel because I realized I had not done a video with a good red lip and of course, what better occasion on the holidays to do this? I pulled out some of my goodies and decided to basically play around with makeup and have some fun. Before we move on, please make sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell, that way you can keep up with all of my future content. And also don't forget to check out my social media, I will leave the information somewhere on the screen. And without further ado, let's go ahead and start the video. I'm really digging the shirt. I had not used it since last fall slash winter, so I'm very happy to bust it out again. And yeah, diving right into the look. As you can see, one of my eyes is already done. I kind of kept it slightly simple. It's all about the glitter, which unfortunately the camera cannot pick up. Also the star of the look is going to be the red lip. My eyebrows are already done. My eye is prepped and primed. I will leave all of the details listed in the description box below. And for today, we are using yet again one of my favorites, which is the Soft Glam palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has been very, very well loved. Probably cannot see it, but it's super dirty. I already hit pan on this one. And yeah, yeah, it's very well loved. It's a great palette. And grabbing a fluffy blending brush, I am going in with the shade Burnt Orange. I am just going to pop this on the crease. Okay, and then grabbing the same brush, do not worry, we will use another fluffy brush. I am going in with the shade Cypress Umber. I'm saying that correctly, I can never know. And just do a wash on the lid, placing it on the outer corner. Then grabbing a different fluffy brush, just going in, cleaning up those edges. I basically did things that way because I wanted a light, light wash of the darker shade just to add some definition, but I did not want it to be so pronounced. Okay, and then going in with the shade Glisten over here, popping that on the lid. Going back in with that fluffy brush, just cleaning up those edges. And then I don't think this has been discontinued. If it is, I'll let you guys know in the description box below if there's an alternative. But any gold glitter, gold slash champagne will do. This is um, from MAC. It's the Dazzle Shadow and it's in the shade flash and dash. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this on the lid. And while that dries, let's go ahead and work on the face. Lately, I've been wanting to keep things a little more dewy because I don't know what's going on yet again with my skin, but my matte foundations just are not cooperating with me the same way. So I kind of like to make them a little more luminous. I'm going in with my Fenty foundation in the shade 210 and then I'm mixing in some of this Becca liquid skin perfector in the shade uh, Champagne Pop. This one has been, I believe, discontinued, but again, any luminous drops that you have uh, will work just fine. Before I do that, I forgot, I have to prime my face. So I will be going in with both the Too Faced uh, Major Hangover and then also with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in the T-Zone. Thank you. 
going in with my Fenty Pro Filter Concealer in the shade 230. And setting my face with my Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. And grabbing a face brush, I'm just going to lightly set the rest of the face. Alright, and working on the upper lashes, I am going to line my eyes with my Derive Beauty Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Black. And then I will follow that up with my Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara. After that, I will also be popping on my Derive Beauty Nova Lashes, which they are my favorite. I love them so much. So yeah, I will go ahead and pop those on and I will be right back. All right, we are back and the lashes are on. For the bottom lash line, that I will keep fairly simple. I'm thinking I will go in with a gold liner and then just smoke out the lower lash line a little bit. Grabbing a little bit of burnt orange, I'm just gonna go ahead and smoke out that lower lash line. and just adding some mascara. To bronze up the face, I'm just going in with my e.l.f. contour palette and using the warm shade. And then for blush and highlighter, I will be going in with the Physician's Formula Butter Collection. Grabbing a blush brush, I'm thinking I'm going to go in to the shade Apricot. Just pop that on the cheeks. And then for highlighter, I will dive into the shade Whimsical. For lips, I pulled out probably the reddest red lip color that I owned. And to line my lips, I'm going in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear Lip Pencil in the shade Red. <music> to 
to fill in the lips, I'm going in with the Derive Beauty Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Fire. And to seal the deal, I'm going in with my MAC Fix Plus. Alright, and I almost forgot to apply my inner corner highlight, so I'm going in to the palette and using the shade Fairy. And just popping this on the inner corner and the brow bone. All right, and this is the final look. I personally enjoy it. You can never go wrong with a red lip for the holidays, or I don't think you can ever go wrong with a red lip ever. So I do like this. Hopefully you guys did too. And if you did, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring the notification bell. That way you can keep up with my future content. And also, let me know in the comment section below what else you would like to see from me. Lastly, don't forget to follow me on all of my social media. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you all next time. Bye.